Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Dallas here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you watch this video from. I hope you're having a smashing day, wherever you are. The sun's just come up. It's eight in the morning. Why am I doing this? Like, seriously, why? Are we here? Games on TV, isn't it? South End versus the Daggers. Let's get into it. So just a quick heads up for you all, nice and brief and simple. The FCA's finalist voting scheme is now currently live and this is one of the last weekends you can enter into it. So basically, if you think I am worthy of being the best in non-league as a vlogger, hit the link down in the description. It will take you to the FCA page. Head down to best in non-league. There'll be a drop down box. Click it, press diversity or anyone else you might know on there that you like that's a vlogger or content creator. Down at the bottom, hit submit. I would love if you could all do that. It only takes about a minute of your time and then you can come right back and watch me here. But into the video we go today. Blues making the shortest journey of their season two and away game in East London versus Dagenham today. Dagenham in an actual okay bit of form in their last five. They've won three, lost two of them. They've been labelled as an entertaining side as well, which I didn't expect me to be saying about Dagenham. But, you know, that's how the world goes. They've scored... 20 plus goals already this season in the 12 or 11 games we've had this season, but they've also conceded 28. That is really good from their attackers, but their defence is a bit, ooh, a bit woeful. But this is where I think you'll play in Blues' favour today. Blues already labelled as one of the best defences now in the National League, and that is a real good achievement for us to be saying. Compared to when we last came to Dagenham last season in the three games we played to them and lost all of them, unfortunately, we are miles better off where we are now. We're only four points off the playoffs, as are the Daggers. It is a big game today. It is on BT Sport for a reason. Both teams will be going for the win but Blues on TV never usually ends well it's always a really good game but maybe not the best result for us so I'm hoping today we pick up a good result Nathan Ralph is still set to miss out with an injury to his foot apart from that I expect the same lineup as it has been in recent weeks let's get down to the Dagger Stadium come on you boys Right. <laughs> 
on nil down, backing off, should have made a challenge, kept backing off, didn't go our way, in the net, 1 0 Dagenham, Pollock. Right then, all half time here in Dagnum, 1 0 down the break. Do you know what? Some of these players need to go in half time and have a look at themselves. I say too many people going invisible in this first half here. I'm not going to go into names because obviously it might say your favourite player and you might get upset with me, but a few definitely have gone missing this first half. There's just no real communication. Dagnum are flooding Kensdown Bridge down this left hand side. They know Bridge is not an actual left back and it's taking advantage really and they're doing it well. McCullum and Lapata are having a good fight over it. Marias with the first goal. Blondie for his first game, you know, he's doing all right to be fair, he's made some good saves, but there's clearly his first game, there's no real communication between the defence and him, there's no real confidence between each other, it's a bit shaky if I'm honest, they need to go in half time, they need a good bollocking in that dressing room to say go out, express yourself with freedom, there's been too much time around us. Yes! No, he's been watching. Oh! oh.
straight. Right then, all full time here in Dagenham, just on my way back to the car now. I've got to do the outro quick. 1-1, one, one, full time. Do you know what? I'll take that. There was a lot of fans in that away section right there saying they would take that scoreline at the end. And most certainly I will. After that second, uh, no, sorry, after that first half performance, we needed to come out big. We needed to come out strong. And we did exactly that. We kept Dagenham chances to a minimum and we took the game to them, which is what I said we needed to do. The half-time team to work. The half-time switch work. We're bringing on Dimitri. We were a lot wider on the pitch. Went down the wings a lot easier. And all in all, we just looked a much better team after that half-time team talk substitution. Powell with a goal. Do you know what? He's got to start next week. It's the cup match next week. It's a chance for some players who maybe don't get as much of a sniff to start. I think we could see Powell start in case of some of these players. But you know what? I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I have. Getting the boys taken away point. Mine has been diversity. If you've enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and peace.